Hello Admirals of YouTube, this is NA2 right here. World of Warships has released more information on why they made a sub-tier of destroyers and I am looking a little excited on it. We'll get to the Japanese subline of destroyers a little later. First I want to show off my Arpeggio missions completion rate. Yes, I have already completed stage 3, no stage 2 of the missions. As you can see, I'm now on stage 3 and I have to deal another, let's say, 5,000, 5, I can't math right now. Let's just say 550,000 more damage. Yeah, I need to do that much, which shouldn't be that much of a problem. Not to mention the join the top 5 of your team, which should also not be a problem, as long as I have my New Orleans, which is a really great ship. The Ognavoy and Arpeggio Miyoko have stunned me good. But I've gotten really accustomed to New Orleans. I mean, the reload time is nice and fast. And the anti-air support is also a plus as well. So I have no regard, nothing to go against this ship. This is my like, go-to ship to continually max out damage every game. Next up, the birthday event. Hopefully you haven't been lying around like a lump on a log. As you can see on the tech tree, if it loads, come on. My computer's been a bit slow lately. As you can see, there have been a plethora of sails on battleships and also a bunch of upper tier ships too which I have no access to right now so yeah a plethora of ships have gotten discounts for the birthday updates not to mention discounts on port slots upgrades and other such speaking of discounts there's also been the week to cover battleships as you can see here there's also a slight mission not to mention those discounts on the battleships which I will have to do this mission. This mission is so simple, I should be able to do it. But getting kills is not always exactly that easy. I remember when I had to get enough kills to get the Mikasa. It was very, very painful. I mean, I can round up tons of damage each battle, but to get a kill is like every few battles I can guarantee at least one kill, which makes it so, so painful. I cannot imagine another mission where World of Warships requires you to do kills. It will be so much hate in it. Now about the Japanese destroyer subline. As you can see, some ships have gotten moved up in tiers, which means they probably nerfed the Neptunes out of those ships, such as Mutsuki. It's gonna be fun watching what they will do to make those ships probably worse than they already are, because my friend really likes Mutsuki. Now here's the reason why they made a subline of destroyers. It's a lot more focused on a specific style of using your ships. Now you understand how there's a balance between using turrets and using torpedoes, right? Well, this subline will allow you to focus either on more torpedoes or more turrets. I'm wearing how Shimakaze and Minikaze are really good at their torpedoes, and I like to see this line of destroyers. But I'm also very favored towards the fast reload time of turrets, so it's very questionable if they once this release comes out. What will I do with it? What is exactly the better route to go? Both so nice. I think I might focus on the torpedo route. Since I already got the Minikaze and I'm really liking the torpedoes. I can only assume they don't nerf the ships too badly. Another update. Update 0.5.12 should be released on the date release date of this video. So you'll ex you can expect a video next week on the update which is right after the birthday event. I can't imagine them doing an update in the middle of an event. That would be so horrifying. Yeah, I think they've done that before. Well, it's just a simple download. As long as you have fast internet, there should be no worries. Then I want to move on to a topic that might spark more of a debate. I'm talking about the Arpeggio Taco. And apparently the Asian servers, the t Arpeggio Taco has been seen, or no, it's not seen. It has been unlocked by everyone. By many people. I cannot imagine what would happen if this ship has gone to the American servers. I think it might spark the largest controversy known to this game. Besides the large array of recently easy missions, which people are probably just complaining that it's too easy to get these ships. Well, getting Arpeggio Hiei and Ashigara, I think that's not that bad. But more on the Arpeggio Taco, we already see her sister ship, the Atago, already released here as a premium tier 8 heavy cruiser. There is no doubt that people will be complaining a lot if this ship were to be released on the American servers because you will, let's just say, we are seeing a premium tier 8 ship. 
people have already spent probably tons of money on it for this ship. And then now, you are getting this ship for free from an Arpeggio event. That will be absolutely great. There's speculation that they probably will nerf the Takao, which I'm going to hate. They cannot nerf a tier 8 ship. Can you? I'd like to see the outcome of what will happen, but leave your comments below so we can probably have a flame war on my video in any sense, yes. No, I don't want a flame war. I just want to have a nice civilized discussion like true admirals. Oh, one more thing. Uh, apparently High School Fleet or High Fury, the anime, has decided to do a collaboration with World of Warships. Well, according to the Asian servers, so there's nothing known for the North American server right now. Also, these this this collaboration has just been notified of. So you can look forward to updates probably in the coming months. You would have known this if you followed my Facebook page. So you guys should totally follow my Facebook page. Now that all those formalities are out of the way, let's get a little grinding. I'll be using the Kaiser now because every other ship is currently in repairs right at this instantaneous moment and I really don't like it. Looks like it's a huge imbalance of ships on each side of the map. Is that just me? No. That's out of the visual range, I think. So I see the St. Louis on the horizon approaching. Ready and fresh to be shot. Does tax connect? None at all. Damn it. He's desperately trying to hit me, even though he's out. Of, he's out, I'm out of his firing range. I undershot that. It's been really off. Be better than this. A few sensible hits, but over through over penetration. It's not good. ship today. Well, I have sunk a ship today, but it, the battle didn't go well. Citadel hit nice. And someone's gonna steal my kill. Uh, why does everyone keep doing that? This Kaiser next. Because the stories will be too fast for me. Seriously, how soon till this till the German battleships get better? What is with all the damage in one sitting? Misses. Scored a decisive hit. He's a girl because he can't see me. Yes. 
start focusing on grinding some more damage. Oh, looks like I need. Oh, I can't. I don't have no anti air services right now. Besides, someone's creeping to install. No upgrades. Yeah, lower tier ship. I probably could do better than this. No, not moving, it's just being a sitting duck. Guys, I'm just trying to get away. Might as well, let's go pursue and at the same time see if I can get the Langley once I'm done. Damage. I want to show that I can be good at World of Warships too. In terms of damage, kills are just ridiculous. People because people steal them all the time. You should get an assist if you do like a, at least a majority of the damage. Say like 50% of the damage for a ship. You should be responsible for at least getting assist, and that should count as getting a kill in battle. Because kills versus gets the final cut, and that is sort of not fair. Oh. oh, it's actually gotten brighter, damn it. It's an e easy battle. Damage is so... Uh, damage is overrated. Is this Kaiser reloading faster than mine? No. He's making better choices. I think that's what we've seen players are much maybe much better. I make rash decisions. Eventually it burns on me. I think the other route. Oh. No, no. Broadside, dodge. Yes. There's ships near me. Planes near me. Land. Neptune's beard. Station, take that turrets. Oh, Reload. oh, Just one more shot. No one. There's a ship near me. That'll be the, the, the Kaiser. I think I'll focus on this one for now. Ugh. Oh. Plan B. I need my t my turrets to take too long to re reload. The turn. So I have to 
turn to report side. That's still work. God damn it. Who's gonna die first? Come on, reload, reload. Basically, I'm relying on my secondary armor it's just to make damage. significantly lower HP so that was to be expected I could have done much better on that okay. so I managed to score a few successive hits and do a well, not bad amount of damage they did double what's worth this ship well no not double but still quite large more than what this ship is worth I think that's it for videos for right now, as I am not doing that well. I think the game is being a little bit annoying with upper tier ships. I keep dying too fast right now, it doesn't make sense. I'm expecting much from the Japanese destroyers when they come out, and I hope the update will go well. Hopefully it will stop my game from crashing as it keeps freezing on like say this screen or even after just sitting idly for a little bit. Hopefully they've cleared that out and there have been enough complaints where they have fixed that bug. So that was this video. If you liked it, like, favorite, rate, subscribe. My Facebook is below, not the link. Yes, the slash video film productions. This is NA2 signing out. I have been up for too long. Neptune's beard. <sighs> I'm gonna go to bed.